Have you ever been rejected for a job or loan without understanding why? The answer might lie hidden in algorithms making decisions about you. From job applications to social media feeds, using biased data that disadvantages certain groups, this documentary pulls back the curtain on these invisible judges shaping your opportunities. Through real cases and clear data visualizations, we'll reveal how algorithmic bias derails careers and lives without your knowledge. You'll see exactly how these systems work, and why they consistently fail to judge people fairly. The receipts are coming, and they'll change how you view every automated decision affecting your future. Imagine submitting hundreds of job applications and never knowing why you're rejected. The truth is worse than you think. Right now, job screening algorithms filter 75% of resumes before a human ever sees them. Your qualifications might never matter. A machine decides your worth in milliseconds, based on patterns you can't see, and rules no one explains. Take Amazon's AI tool, trained on 10 years of resumes, mostly from men. Like a broken judge misinterpreting evidence, it penalizes words like women's or mentions of all-female colleges. The algorithm didn't know it was discriminating, it just repeated history at scale. One engineer proved this by changing her name to male on identical applications. Interview requests poured in overnight. The system had learned to associate competence with masculine phrasing, quietly shutting women out. It's not only gender. These systems evaluate everything. Employment gaps, date formats, even hobbies. One applicant's seven-year gap raising children registered as lack of commitment. Another was rejected for using perseverance. The algorithm linked it to lower income backgrounds. No human programmed these rules. The machine invented them by spotting patterns in flawed data. Recruiters see only a ranked list of top candidates, unaware of who vanished in the filtering. Applicants get generic rejections, left wondering, was it something I said? Something I did? Human rejection hurts, but algorithmic rejection is worse, like being shadowed by an unseen critic at every step. It offers no feedback, just silence. The danger grows with each hiring cycle. New data feeds back into the algorithm, reinforcing biases. Neighborhoods with black-sounding names get flagged as high risk. Graduates from historically black colleges receive lower scores. None of this appears in the code. It emerges from the patterns, invisible until tested. Companies claim these tools ignore race and gender. Technically true. Instead, they use proxies, names, zip codes, affiliations. A study found chatbots recommended 12% higher interest rates for black borrowers while denying race played a role. The algorithm had simply learned that black neighborhoods had higher default rates historically, never questioning why. We've outsourced judgment to systems that disguise bias as math. They're fast, they handle volumes no human could, and they promise objectivity. But an algorithm trained on biased data doesn't make fair decisions. It makes biased decisions faster, and unlike humans, it offers no apologies, no explanations. Just automated rejection after automated rejection, each one training the next wave of exclusion. Banks claim their algorithms don't see race. But the data reveals a digital redlining pen drawing invisible borders. Mortgage systems now use alternative data, purchases, social connections, even browser habits, to recreate old biases inside code. The algorithm doesn't ask about race. It learns from proxies. A 2019 UC Berkeley study exposed the cost. Lenders charge Latino and Black borrowers six to nine basis points more in interest, totaling $750 million annually in extra mortgage costs. Identical applications yield different outcomes. Wells Fargo settled a federal lawsuit for steering qualified minority applicants into subprime loans, while white borrowers with identical credentials secured lower rates. The bank never programmed race. The algorithm inherited it from historical patterns. Zip codes often serve as racial proxies. A 2024 Federal Reserve study found black, Hispanic, and Native American borrowers have lower credit scores even when education and income match. White communities average 727, good, while Native American areas hover at 612. Fair. The algorithm doesn't question why. It sorts and decides. Chatbots recommend 12% higher rates for black borrowers trained on decades of discriminatory data. A PNAS Nexus study found race. Blind systems still deny minority applicants 1-2% to points more often. Invisible factors like generational wealth gaps become risk factors without context. The bias hides in plain sight. No single line of code causes it. The system absorbs patterns from a discriminatory past. Traditional redlining marked maps with hazardous zones. Modern algorithms tag shopping habits, social circles, or foreclosure rates as risks. Correlates of race-striped history. The damage compounds. Past denials hinder future applications. Higher rates drain resources needed to build credit. Neighborhoods labeled high-risk see fewer approvals, depressing property values, which the algorithm then cites as proof of a risk. A 2024 Urban Institute study showed these feedback loops widen wealth gaps. Rejection notices never 
mention the real reasons. The algorithm won't say it linked your habits to default risks. By the time researchers trace the patterns, thousands hit invisible walls. The most dangerous bias isn't programmed. It's learned from a world that never changed. Your social media feed doesn't show you the world. It shows you a funhouse mirror version designed to keep you staring. Anger spreads faster than facts because outrage drives engagement. An MIT study proves this. False news travels six times quicker than truth on Twitter. Why? The algorithm rewards retweets, not accuracy. It feeds you content that triggers reactions, not understanding. This system doesn't just radicalize extremists, it traps everyone in personalized bubbles. Search the same term as someone else, and you'll get different facts based on your clicks. One person sees evidence, another sees conspiracy. Peer research found 71% of users encountered anger-inducing content regularly, with 25% seeing it daily. The algorithm learns what provokes you, then serves more of it. It's simple math. Outrage equals attention equals profit. These platforms build alternate realities. Six in ten users see posts where accusations fly without proof. Over half witnessed equal parts kindness and cruelty, but 21% report more meanness than support. The algorithm doesn't pick sides. It amplifies whatever gets reactions. Moderate voices fade because extremes generate clicks. A study found 58% frequently encounter exaggerated claims. They spread not because they're true, but because they work. You think you're choosing what to watch. You're not. Scroll past politics, the algorithm notes your disinterest. Pause on a certain conspiracy theory, it logs hesitation as curiosity. Spend 10 seconds on a viral rant, that's a signal to feed you more. The Biden administration warned about TikTok's ownership for this reason. When platforms control what millions see, they don't reflect reality, they create it. Users get locked in spaces that validate biases, stifling critical thought. The damage is psychological. Pew found 54% see balanced content, but the algorithm favors engagement over well-being. Arguments spread because they trigger reactions, not truth. You're not the consumer, you're the product. Ad revenue depends on attention, and nothing grabs attention like conflict. The solution isn't deleting accounts, it's recognizing the trap. Your feed isn't a window to the world, it's a hall of mirrors, reflecting whatever keeps you scrolling. The algorithm has no ideology, just one drive to hold your gaze. And as long as outrage works, that's exactly what it'll use. When algorithms fail, people face erasure. Behind every Every automated no is someone staring at a screen, wondering what invisible rule they broke. The rejection emails never say the algorithm flagged you. They offer polite cooperation phrases about pursuing other candidates. The truth stays hidden in code. Consider Sarah, who submitted 50 job applications without a single callback. Night after night, she revised her resume at the kitchen table, fingers trembling over the keyboard. When she discovered the hiring algorithm rejected applications with employment gaps over six months, her stomach dropped. Her seven years raising children registered stirred as lack of commitment. No human made that judgment, just lines of code no one could explain. The silence cuts deeper than human rejection. When a hiring manager says no, you might get feedback. When a machine does, you get nothing. Yale researchers found this vacuum creates unique psychological damage. Applicants obsess over formatting, keywords, even font size. Paranoia grows in the absence of answers. A Missouri teacher lost her license after an AI flagged her exam answers as suspicious. The state couldn't explain how it reached its conclusion. Only that its decision was final. For months, she fought through bureaucratic limbo while the algorithm processed its next batch of tests. The cruelty lies in perfect unaccountability. Humans can be challenged. Algorithms just process the next input. Stanford researchers documented how this creates cascading failures. Someone denied housing by a risk assessment algorithm becomes data reinforcing the original bias. Each rejection makes the next more likely. Therapists report patients with algorithmic trauma anxiety tied to opaque automated decisions. Some compulsively tweak dating profiles after rejections. Others refresh credit scores waiting for unexplained dips. The constant surveillance breeds paranoia, but opting out isn't an option when these systems gatekeep basic needs. Worse is how these systems warp self-perception. A Rutgers study found applicants rejected by algorithms internalized failure more than those rejected by people. They assume the machine must be objective, its judgment absolute. Even after learning about flaws, the damage lingers. We've built decision factors factories treating people like faulty products. The quality checks happen in secret, the rejection criteria locked away. You can't appeal to an algorithm's better nature, it doesn't have one. Your confusion isn't a bug, it's just more data. This is the human cost. Invisible rules creating powerless people left guessing in the dark while the system moves on. These systems aren't going away, but we don't have to accept their hidden biases. The EU now mandates transparency for algorithmic decisions. Activists demand audits of training data. And 
some companies build diverse teams from the start. Progress begins when we challenge the unseen judges shaping our lives. What invisible rules decide your opportunities? The most dangerous systems are those we never question. Demand that the blindfold be pulled off the judging machine in hiring, loans, and social media. Because fairness can't be optional in a world where code holds the gavel. Transparency is the first step to justice. Subscribe to Operation Mindline. Watch smarter. Think deeper. Break the mind line.